Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Asan Salim and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant of Canada practicing here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, subscribe it now so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that I post. Um, so this video is all about the SINP draw that happened today. That is March 23, 2023 for both the express entry uh, stream and also the occupation in demand stream. So if you want to know more about the NOCs that got selected, what the score was, watch this video till the very end so I can uh, share all the information with you guys. And maybe you'll learn something new that you did not know before. So watch out this video till the very end. <laughs> Welcome back. So let's discuss the SINP draw that happened today. Again, the date is uh, March 23, 2023. Now, the last draw that Saskatchewan did was Feb 16 last month. So it's exactly five uh, weeks later, they have done another draw. But the good part or the crazy part is the score, instead of going up, has gone down, which is a great news because uh, many of you uh, who were not able to receive an ITA last month hopefully would have received uh, an ITA this month. So 82 is the score of the lowest uh, ranked candidate or the lowest ranked profile. Um, 82 is still a high number, but still lower than the previous draw that happened, which was 80. Um, so we will be discussing both the streams today that is express entry and occupation in demand so I'll show you or share my screen with you guys and we can go through it but before that uh, one of the common question everyone has like what's the main difference between SANP express entry and SANP OID first of all the processing time um, the express entry stream is a little more faster as compared to the occupation in demand but right now they're pretty similar like that has been always the biggest difference between the two like express entry category you used to be a little more faster but now if you look at the processing time on the Saskatchewan official website you'll see the difference of just one week so the processing time right now is nine weeks uh, for one of the category and the other week other category is eight weeks so very similar um, again this uh, time frame kind of starts from uh, the date they receive the complete package of your uh, documentation that is online when you submit it and everything has been received or if additional documents have been requested and you have submitted that so the time actually starts from that point of time so march 23 uh, i'll show as i said i'm sharing my screen with you guys if we notice here i'll show you the previous result first of all feb 16 2023 um, 184 profiles were uh, selected and the lowest score was 84. Same goes for uh, if you talk about the express entry stream, it was 84 again for them as well. And the candidates invited were 242. So this time the score has gone down to 82 from 84. And in occupation and demand, they have invited 312 profiles. And similarly in uh, express entry stream they have invited 184 candidates so total of 496 profiles were invited in today's draw and if you notice most of these nocs here are the same that were invited last time as well now what are those nocs or what what nocs have the highest chance of getting picked up by saskatchewan if you have enough points uh, one of the easy ways to for you to get a nomination in Saskatchewan if you have a relative here because you get 20 points for a relative and then your education I score can be like uh, you can play around with those numbers and see how you match up with the score that is being uh, drawn every month 82 84 is easy to get if you have a relative but if not um, you still have some chances you still uh, I would encourage you to make a profile um, if you are not sure how to go about it uh, reach out to a licensed immigration consultant if you want to reach out to me um, I can share my contact details here with you and uh, you can definitely reach me out on my email address or whatsapp me on my this whatsapp number um, and also my information is available on my youtube page you can uh, follow me on Instagram or uh, follow me on uh, Facebook as well. So some of the NOCs we will discuss here or in fact just have a look on uh, what kind of NOCs these are. Like if you talk about these 0012, 0013, 15, uh, let's put it out here. 
I'll show you what these are. Triple zero one two is senior managers in financials, communications, and other business services. Similarly, three, again, senior managers in health, education, social. So senior managers in most of the fields are getting the invite if your score is 82 or above. Um, let's touch some other NOC from the list. And uh, let's go to uh, 12101 and 12102. Let's see what those NOCs are or if you fall in those NOCs or not. So HR is a very popular one. If you are in HR, you have a high chance of uh, getting picked in uh, Saskatchewan. If you're a purchasing officer, just like that, procurement and purchasing officers, you have a high chance there as well. If we go further down, um, there are lots of NOCs which have uh, the requirement of getting a license. So for example, um, let's talk about 21310, which is a very popular one that is electrical and electronics engineer. Obviously you need to get a license in order to be able to apply for the SINP in order to get the nomination. Uh, so this is one of them and there are lots of other NOCs which do require um, the license for in order to be selected for provincial nomination. So we'll do one more. Um, in fact, a couple more 420. Let's put that and see what that is. So administrators, yes, in post-secondary education, vocational training, uh, if you are an administrator in um, one of those, uh, like if you fall under that NOC, you have a good chance as well. Similarly, managers in social community and correctional services, if you're a social worker, you do have a good chance as well. So you can check out all these NOCs by yourself um with the matching with your job duties what noc you fall in and if you are under uh one of these nocs and you can get 82 points or more uh the better obviously the score can go up and down no one knows what would happen in the next draw but uh, the more score you have better you have the chances and also look at the nocs which uh might be applicable to your profile so this is uh, the video that I wanted to show you and uh, just update you about the results of uh, Saskatchewan. Uh, hopefully we will have another draw next uh, month and uh, I hope, I wish the score goes down a little more or uh, quite a lot more. So many of you who are still waiting in the wings uh, to get an ITA from uh, Saskatchewan, you hopefully get it. So again, if you want to reach out for reach out to me for a paid consultation, this is my contact information. Reach out to me, and uh, we can definitely have a look at your profile and discuss uh, what can be done, what cannot be done, what kind of document documentation would you need in order to become eligible for uh, Saskatchewan. So my name is Hassan Salim. Uh, again, if you have any question, reach out or uh, send a message in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep bringing these videos to you guys and uh, keep updating you with all the stuff happening in Canadian immigration. So have a great day and uh, take care. See you in the next video.